several different types of atlas. Um, these particular ones are Atatakus edwardsi. They're very dark coloured, unlike uh, Atatakus atlas, which is a browner colour. I'm afraid I can't remember the specifics of this next one without checking the guide first, but here it is, it's beautiful. And a pristine one. Certainly an atlas moth of sorts, but can't remember specifically which one. Oh, that's in my ear. <laughs> Apologies. Big Meganotna gnarlis, one of the larger of the hawks that I encounter here in Malaysia. little gathering of waspy type stuff. Again, none of, it, none of it seems to be giving too much bother. It's certainly not the most comfortable place to the uh, surrounding. This is a more interesting hawk. I think it's Megacorma obliqua. Again, not 100% sure without having a proper examine of it. Which I will do shortly. But a beautiful specimen. This one clearly pretends to be a leaf. For reference, this is now, where are we? Uh, with the 10th of March, 2024. I haven't been back here trapping properly for the last three or four years, really, due to COVID. Uh, but it's lovely to come back, and it's even nicer to see that the biodiversity in this place doesn't seem to have been too interrupted. And a lot of what fascinated before is still here. Although I have put myself out on a limb tonight to get to a place where there is zero light pollution. We're also sheep trapping at a time when there is no moon. That's quite important with moths. Um, if you want to get a good catch, um, try and choose a time when there is no moon. Um, very much an unproved science as to why that might be. My guess is that on the darkest nights they're probably less visible to bats and other predators that might come and enjoy the free meal. And we've been running since about 8.30 this evening and it's currently 11.30 p.m. So with the sheet filling up like it is, I'm actually going to call it a day shortly and uh, head, back to, uh, head back to bed and get an early night for a change. Beautiful green moth with its hind wings held forward of its forewings just the way it rests. Can't tell you what it is, I'm afraid. Again, not without wading through the reference books. That's a job for another time. 
got a really cracking result. I'm just delighted to see this fill up like this. So there we have it guys, filthy, covered in moths, sweaty, hot, time to go and have a brush down. Enjoy. Please share these videos, it's great for awareness. Bye now.